Hey everyone, and welcome to Shuriken Skills number 48, here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. In this episode, we're going to look at creating a funky looking QR code with InDesign and Illustrator. So I'm pretending to be working on this ad just here, and I'd like to add a QR code to link through to the YouTube channel just down here okay to encourage people to develop their ninja skills get their work done and get out of the studio a bit earlier so this starts by going up to the object menu and then coming down to generate qr code and the following dialog opens and there are a number of different kinds of qr code you can generate but i want to generate one here based on the channel so if I hit OK, it will generate me the QR code. And I'm just going to drag this off artboard just at the moment and then bring it in to this shape just here. But that's just black and white and it could be so much more fun. So what I'm going to do is copy that out of InDesign. I'm going to switch to Illustrator where I have a document waiting and I'll paste that in like so and you can see that it pastes in as a series of paths which i can then join together using the pathfinder and fill them with a gradient if i tap the period key on my keyboard just so happens i've got this uh, spectrum gradient across here well it's the right week for it uh, for that and then i'm going to tap g for my gradient tool and then just drag that the way i want it to unify it across all of those shapes and then I can either save that out and use it, or if I want to be smarter, I can come along and add it to my CC library so it's there to use in all of my Creative Cloud desktop and mobile applications. And there you are, that's your shuriken skill to practice today. But for now, we're done. And I'll see you next week for another shuriken skills episode. See ya.